Welcome to Into Electrical Trade Theory. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, to like, and to share these videos. Now in module five, we'll be taking a look at batteries, which has a curriculum weighting of 10%. In 5.1, we'll be taking a look at lead acid batteries. In terms of the uh, operation or the function of a battery, a battery converts chemical energy into electrical energy and consists of cells connected in series. In terms of the construction of lead acid batteries, there are three main components, the outer casing, electrolyte, and cells. The outer casing is molded plastic and there are holes to check the electrolyte level. The electrolyte, when fully charged, consists of 35% sulfuric acid and 65% water. The negative electrode is light gray in color and is made of spongy lead. The positive electrode is dark brown in color and is made of lead dioxide. For the terminals, the positive terminal is red and larger. The negative terminal is blue and smaller. For the care and maintenance of lead acid batteries, check levels of the electrolyte, keep ventilation holes clear, keep terminals clean and corrosion free, do not discharge below 60% capacity, charge in a well ventilated room, do not add acid, rather add distilled water only. The advantages of lead acid batteries, they are relatively cheap, reliable, robust, have low internal resistance, deliver higher current, available in various sizes, and they are easily available. The disadvantages of lead acid batteries, they are very heavy, acid is dangerous to handle, not suitable for fast charging, lead is not environmentally friendly, stored only in a charge state, needs regular maintenance, and there is danger of overheating when charging. In unit 5.2 for gel batteries, let's take a look at the construction of gel batteries. Gel cell batteries contain silica gel in the electrolyte. The silica gel combined with the electrolyte forms a thick paste, which allows electrons to flow. For the application of gel batteries, they are used in scooters, wheelchairs, and high-end vehicles. Now, when charging gel batteries, there are two types of charging. We have fast charge and float charge. For fast charge, first, a constant voltage is achieved with a regulated voltage output. It is then switched over to a lower current rating. For float charge, it is charged at a constant voltage rating of 2,1 volts per cell until the battery is fully charged. For the care and maintenance of gel batteries, now it's important to note that a gel battery is a sealed battery, so there's no maintenance required. Do not discharge below 80%. Always use the correct charger. Store in a cool and dry place. Do not overcharge. Ensure the terminals are clean and corrosion free. The advantages of gel batteries, it is maintenance free, no spills, vibration resistant, and ideal for portable operation. The disadvantages of gel batteries, they are expensive, charges at a slow rate, and sensitive to overcharging. In unit 5.3, we'll take a look at lithium ion batteries. In terms of the construction of a lithium ion battery, the electrolyte is made of lithium salt. The separator allows lithium ions to pass through the separator. There are basically tiny little holes in the separator that allow this to happen. Lithium has the highest potential to lose electrons. In terms of the care and maintenance of lithium ion batteries, do not disassemble the battery, do not dispose in water or fire, 
keep at room temperature, follow manufacturer's instructions for charging, and do not leave batteries unused. The advantages of lithium ion batteries, they are small and lightweight, it charges quickly and has a longer lifespan. The disadvantages of lithium ion batteries, they are expensive and sensitive to overcharging. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to keep tuned to the other lessons that are coming up. Thank you.